To understand the true nature of power, you must first know the wellspring from which it flows. On, come here beside me. Upon the land dwell the people, and then there are the knights to defend the land and the people, the nobles to manage them, and a king to rule. Question, in which of these does Camelot find its strength? Easy enough. The stone above them all, our king. Together, of course, with your wise counsel, Merlin. Hardly. Tell me, where do the king, his nobles, and his knights all rest? Upon the people. Yes, Valiant, upon the people. And should a kingdom ever lose the support of its people, <clears throat> it will fall as surely as a castle built upon a weak foundation. Never forget, the strength of a people united is greater than the power of any evil. Good morning, young lady. I had heard you were suffering with a fever, but you look well enough. The only pain I suffer, Merlin, is in my heart. Were it anywhere else, I would not find what I'm about to do so difficult. I'm going home to Bridgeford. Bridgeford? Are you mad? Valiant, last night I heard a voice. A voice that whispered my name. I've heard it before, for several nights now. I can't ignore it any longer. I believe it's my father, that he's calling me home. You cannot be serious, Rowan. Leave Camelot? And give up your quest to become a knight? All for nothing more than a dream? It was nothing more than a dream that brought you to Camelot, was it not? That was different. Different, but no less important, Valiant. Merlin, are you equating a vision of destiny with a pang of homesickness? Something is wrong at home, Valiant. I feel it. Here, a dread, terrible dread. Come with me, Rowan. I shall arrange a mount for you. What? Wait, Rowan! I'll go with you! Arn! What are you saying? Have you forgotten how difficult a journey it is from Bridgeford to Camelot? And that there is a price on our heads in that shire? Would you have Rowan take such a journey alone? I would not have her take it at all! Arn, she's risking this danger for no reason! Do you think it's right to encourage her to let emotion override good sense? I think it's right to follow your heart. I have to go. Arn, please! Think! You could be risking your lives for nothing! It's foolishness. There's no reason I should have gone with them. How could they have expected me to? Staying here and getting on with the business of becoming a knight is what any sensible man would do. Ah. hey -ya! The messenger who bursts into a man's home unannounced is usually fired by great urgency. And what urgent message do you bring me, Valiant? I'm going after them, Merlin. They are traveling north by the old Roman road. If you ride hard, perhaps you might still catch them. When Rowan left Bridgeford, the Baron there declared her an outlaw. He swore she would be made to pay for her refusal to marry his brother. For her to head for Bridgeford is for her to head for darkness. She and Arne will be in grave danger. Please tell King Arthur where I've gone. And then I shall bring Rowan and Arn safely home again. Yes. Take your light into the darkness of Bridgeford, young prince, and show them the way to Camelot. I've seldom seen a darker night. It doesn't bode well. Stop worrying, Arn. Come sit here beside the fire. I've been sitting for two days. If I could sleep standing up, I believe I would. You and Valiant are better suited to the saddle. I prefer my feet on the ground. I wish you were here. Oh, Arn, no. I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm grateful for your company, Arn. Very much so. Thank you, Rowan.
What is it? Something's out there. The animals smell it on the wind. Wolves. They've circled us. How many do you think there are? Enough. The one heading the pack is the leader. He'll move first. Now be ready. then I suspect we are about to find out good day what do you want from us we are in the service of the Baron Draconarius on whose property you now stand what business have you this morning on the road to Bridgeford Bridgeford oh, we have no business in Bridgeford oh, we are passing through to Glebham I think not I'm quite sure you're the Smith's daughter, Rowan. But I'll let the sheriff determine that. Fitz, Cobb, take their reins. Arn! Rowan, I don't think... They're gaining on us, Arn! Hurry! I'm hurrying as fast as I can! Too many to fight. What can be done, Caliburn? Perhaps we have just found the answer. This should do the trick. <coughs> Hardly fit for a prince. But so much the better. Before you is a man charged and found guilty of crimes against the estate of my brother, Baron Duncan Draconarius. As your sheriff, it is now my duty to see that this man is executed for his villainy! What were his crimes? He had but one. He talked too much. That should still his tongue. He was heard speaking of a place called Camelot. And then... <sighs> Quiet, you old fool! Do you want to hang too? Watch yourself, you clumsy oaf! Look what you've done! You've soiled my tunic! Oh, a thousand apologies, my lord. I am a clumsy, disgusting fool. 
Stop where you are. Your voice seems familiar to me. Turn around. I am Walter the Fleming, my lord. I make my home in the forest near Raynham. I came for the hanging. Did you? Throw back that hood and let me see your face, Walter the Fleming. Are you deaf, man? I said remove the hood! I, I would, my lord, but... But what? But for my condition, my lord. I am a leper. A leper? Uh, away with you, you vile thing! Get away! Away! <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. But if it's a handout you're looking for, I can be of no help. I'm as poor a man as you. I've not come seeking a handout. I've come only to beg a word with you, Cedric, and to return something you once gave me. Good heavens! Valiant! Come inside quickly. If the Baron's men see you, it will be both our heads. If what you say is true, Valiant, then Arne and my daughter are already in Shadowhurst Castle, perhaps beyond our help. Oh, Cedric, we must do something, quickly. I saw the gallows on my way through the square. They were hanging a man just for speaking of Camelot. And the day you and Arne left with Rowan to seek Camelot, talk of it spread across this shire like fire in the wind. For some reason, the very mention of the word seemed to drive the Baron to madness. He is killing people for speaking of something that may be nothing more than a myth. Camelot is no myth. It is just as real as this cup in my hand. Camelot exists? You've been there? As has your daughter. We make our home in the shadow of King Arthur's castle. If only the people could know this. You must speak to them, Valiant. There's a place in the forest where we sometimes gather, away from the ears of the Baron's spies. I'll pass the word. We'll meet there tonight. Rowan? Are you awake? How could I sleep? Even though you fled this shire to avoid marrying me, it still wounds me to see you this way, Rowan. I want you to know I'm a forgiving man. Consent to becoming my wife, and I will find you more comfortable quarters. A place, perhaps, we both can share. What difference does it make? Either way, I'd be sleeping with a rat. You fool! Do you really think I need your permission? You are still my brother's property, and he has given you to me! Uh, a word with you, Duncan. I'm busy. It's the Smith's daughter. I'm... I'm still of a mind to marry her. It's too late. The girl has been south. To Arthur's court. If I allow her to live, she'll spread his idealistic poison across my shire. Yes, but Duncan... She and her friend will be hanged come morning. Now go away. I have work to do. Well, King Arthur, so much for your two young messengers. Hear ye all, hear ye all. An announcement from his lordship, the Baron Duncan Draconarius. Be it known that Rowan of Bridgeford and Companion are to be hanged for the crime of treason. Come, the others are waiting. Where's Cedric? It's dangerous to be seen meeting like this. Shh, shh, sh keep your voices down. I have news, wonderful news from the south. Listen. Then tell us quickly, man. The night is cold and the Baron's eyes are everywhere. Some of you have heard me speak of Valiant, the young prince whom my daughter followed in search of Camelot. Aye, chasing a myth with the Baron's hounds snapping at their heels. I have found Camelot. I have found a place where might does not make right. Where a man bears his sword not in defense of oppression, but in defense of truth and justice. Is this true? Is Camelot real? What say you, Cedric? I say we've endured enough. I say the time has come for us to stand against the Baron. Easy enough for you to say. The Baron owes your daughter, but what are the rest of us to gain? Only your dignity and your freedom. Down with the Baron Draconarius! Yeah! Brave words, but what chance have a handful of peasants against the Baron's trained army? The strength of a people united is more powerful than any evil. Something taught me by a very wise man. I have a plan, Cedric. There is a way. The 
little worm! The fool dares challenge me to a duel for the lives of his two friends and for the freedom of Bridgeford? And you say others stand with him? You have their names? Yes, my lord, but, but the list is long. They, they all spoke against you. Full-scale rebellion, is it? Well, I shall deal with them after I've finished with Prince Valiant. Now get out. Crawl back to your hole. I'll summon you when I need you. Surely, brother, you will not lower yourself to accept this insult of a challenge. What choice have I? To decline it and be called a coward? No, I'll meet him all right. And when I've cut the heart from him, there'll be no more talk of Arthur and his accursed Camelot. I see you've kept your fire burning through the night. As you asked, a dagger for every man. Small enough to be concealed, but quite deadly. But what about you, Valiant? What weapon will you carry? I shall come armed with truth and honor. And perhaps with a sword loaned from your shop? Come with me, Valiant. I have something to show you. The men of my family have been master blacksmiths for four generations. But more than that, we've been caretakers, awaiting the day when a worthy hand might come to claim this, a singing sword, forged by my great-grandfather. Only one of two blades struck from this same remarkable piece of metal. The other sword was lost long ago. It was called Excalibur. Excalibur? It is now in King Arthur's own hand. Excalibur is in Camelot? Sister of Excalibur. A king's blade. Good morning to you, Will. Yes, it is a good morning. I understand you have something to interest me in your basket. Indeed. Something freshly baked by my husband just last night. Good morning to you, sir. Valiant, you must understand, no man would fault you if you spared yourself this danger. I know, Cedric, but I must go through with it, not only for Rowan and Arne, but for the people of Bridgeford, and for all that is right and true. So... The boy has found himself a man's sword. But will he know how to use it? I see you have some skill. Good. At least the rabble will be entertained before you die. You won't slay me with your tongue, Baron. Have you come to talk or fight? Friends will do the hangman's it's dance. It's what I would expect from a dishonorable man. Yes, it shames me. Now, surrender the sword. Good people of Bridgeford, it is time to take up the sword to rid yourself of the Baron and his oppression. Treachery! Against treachery! I'll not forget that it was you who took my people and my shire from me, boy. Be sure, 
I'll not forget. Goodbye, Robert. Goodbye. This is truly a rare blade, Cedric. If I had fallen, I almost believe it would have fought on without me. I thank you for the use of it. It belongs to you, Valiant. That's why it sang for you. For a man with a pure heart. A man who fights for a just cause. People of Bridgeford, I give you Prince Valiant, who has made real the ideals of Camelot and given us the greatest gift of all. Freedom! Do you see it, Arthur? See what, Valiant? A new light shining in the north. It could be said that it is merely the sun, perhaps reflecting upon some distant lake. But there is no lake between here and the mountains, is there, Arthur? Whatever this new light may be, old friend, we must see that it continues to shine. Well done, young Valiant. Well done. <laughs>